In order to upgrade my uppercut, I added some camera effects, as in the camera shake and some particle effects. Let me just show you. Uh, here it is one more time. I've tested so many different numbers and variations. Uh, I had people, you know, giving me suggestions with lightning, fire, um, sparks. Someone also told me I should keep this uh, as subtle as possible. Uh, I took all that into consideration. The problem was that I had a lot of te technical difficulties. I had zero experience with VFX or particle effects or anything that's supposed to make the game look better. I don't have any experience in those kind of effects. So, so at the end, I, I just ended up having nothing more than a spark and a camera shake. The amount of work hours that I put in doesn't really reflect how good the game looks, but I'm still learning. I'll have, you know, more different variations in the future. You might have noticed the, the slight difference in uh, the character looks. That is because I added um, some different mechanisms in order for you to change uh, the looks, the typical game stuff. Uh, I didn't create this interface. The author of this 3D asset, um, he created this uh, interface where you could change, well, you could change the looks, shoes, clothes, hair. Obviously my game's not gonna look exactly like this. I'm gonna have my own interface for you to change your character. I had some good comments regarding Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, but again, the problem is the technical part where I, I don't have any assets or 3D models or, or animations that reflect those martial arts aspect. I just don't have those yet, but those suggestions will always be in my head and and I'll keep them in mind. If I go back to the game, I can, right now I don't have a custom interface, so I have to do it manually for now, but inside the game, you should be able to change things like hair, right? The upper body. Huh. This kind of looks like a martial artist kind of. So I'm just doing a lot of experiments here. Um, that don't necessarily lead to progress in terms of game development, but I gotta keep testing and see what's best. You know, it's very time consuming, but I'll have to do it. Hmm. You might have also noticed slight difference in the camera movement. It's it's very subtle. I before I just had a few lines of code where the camera is simply following the player in a smooth fashion. Now I added something called Cinemachine. Let me uh, bring that down. It's something that I've never done before. Mm. As you can see, the camera is focusing on the yellow part. It, it's got autofocus, it's got auto follow, and it's got whole different numbers for you to play around with, like uh, smoothing, uh, damping, all those, all those different cinematic camera movements and again I got to play around with the numbers and, and see what's best unfortunately that's pretty much all I have for today for the next video I'm thinking maybe running kicks running and jumping kicks um, or more enemies so that I can you know do some more attacks and 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 continue to test different variations and, and see, test out different situations in the game. I'm just having different experiments, trying to figure out what's the smoothest, what's the best type of gameplay that I enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.